the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the American military veteran of Igbo descent has accused Governor Hope Uzodema of sabotaging efforts to release the then leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Namdi Kalu. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back updates and information. As it is hot, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn notification bell so that anytime our news drop, now you will be the first to watch my people miss more matter. They happen for this contrast day, they break the different theory that would they hear it. but make could not chill with me how could they bring another Tory as they come away one after the other now on the news the group known as american military veteran of Igbo descent accused governor hope Zodema of human states of sabotaging effort to release the detail leader of the indigenous people of biafra mazinam dikalu from incarceration they also challenge governor hope Zodema to prove his innocence in the worrisome insecurity that engulfed Imo State since the establishment of Ibubagu security outfit and alleged engagement of Asri Dokumbo's men in the outfit. My people not be small matter. In an open letter, they tag His Excellency Governor Hopo Zodema's unimaginable hostility for Ibos and the need for change of mind. That was dated on Sunday, April 14th. They cautioned Mazinam Dikalo to retrace his step. The letter was signed by the American military veteran of Hebrew descent, President Chief Silver Star Onya and Secretary Dr. Gerson Obiago, respectively. But in a swift response, the governor denied any involvement in Mazinam Dikalo's ordeal, dismissing all the allegations as false and baseless. <laughs> My people, we're gonna call you a Tory. Governor Obu Zodima, who spoke through his chief press secretary, Mr. Obk Wachuku, Zodima said that he thinks that all these veteran or whatever they call themselves have lost touch with the reality back home <laughs> because their views on both issues they have raised here are rubbish and they lack merit. Governor Obu Zodima went on to say that the allegations are totally false, baseless, thoughtless, and senseless. So the American. Military variant of Igbo descent, which blamed the festering insecurity in the south is Omazinam de Kano's continued detention, wondered what the governor stands to gain from the IPOB leader's continued incarceration. The American military variant of Igbo descent are currently serving or have served honorably in the United States Armed Forces, and they have observed with the alarming shock the level of disdain and inglorious action there's been against people of Igbo descent since Hope is of the man became the governor in 2019. So this was the collective decision. They wrote an open letter and made it available to social media. They said another worrisome show of content for Igbos is Governor Hope Uzodima deceitful and convert conspiracies against the release of Maz Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, since his infamous extraordinary redemption from Kenya into Nigeria in the year 2021 and the persecution that ensued. So they said it has become obvious that Hope Zodima do not want Mazinam de Kalu released from the unlawful incarceration the federal government of Nigeria subjected him to. While they are aware that several meritorious applications had before now been made to the trial federal high court judge for the release of Mazinam de Kalu on Bay. So they have come to the ugly realization that Governor Hope Zodima is behind the continual refusal of such Bay application. <laughs> Five people will not come here, Master. Hope was the man sinister and clean dancing moves is Emma saying that Mazinam de Kalu does not enjoy his constitutional right to bail. That is another show of hatred for the Igbos. They are all aware that in so far as Mazinam de Kalu remains unlawfully detained in the Nigeria Security Services facility, there would be no peace in Igbo land. And this part of youth's restiveness and violence would know no bond. The same people I say hope was the man no care about the impact, the negative impact of that Monday sit at home order it has on the Eastern Nigeria and the life that he would have lost in any mistaken disobedience to such orders. That Nigeria knows how the infamous Operation Python dance was planned and executed. And they know what profit he enjoys from this Nessa arrangement against Igbo peace and cohesion. So they have urged Governor Hope Zodema to change his disposition against Igbo curse and help seek the return of the peace to the Igbo land, to the southeast. Because it's not too late to return peace to Igbo state in particular, and it pays nobody that their youth are killed daily. But then, what record would he leave behind after his governance? Or do he think that nobody would remember what he did as governor? So right now, they are requesting that 
Hope Uzodi Ma returned the Igbo spirit of Onya Halawane that is be your brother's keeper and walk towards peace in Igbo land. So they are very optimistic that his Excellency Governor Hope Uzodema would have a change of heart and walk towards peace in the Igbo land. His teaching time saves night as they say. They have declared this part of blood bit in Igbo state and they challenge the governor to clear his name on the alleged engagement of Asiri Dokumbo's men in Ibu Bagu security outfit. So His Excellency Governor Hope Uzodema, the wave of white on killings and loss of life in Imo state is really, really, really huge. You are the chief security officer of Imo state, so he can do something. The group are saying that since Hope Uzodema deceptively brought in Alaji Mujahid, Asiri Dokubo's men into Imo state in, in the guise of Ibu Bagu, that Imo state has not known peace and they do not know the reason other than he opened disdain for the Igbos and the people of Imo state in particular. Ordinary Ibubagu is supposed to be a security outfit with specific objective of securing lives and properties in Igbo land against external forces. But Governor Hope Uzodema decided to use a serious man. And it doesn't really bother how many lives Imo people have lost under his governance. They are telling him now that he should not think that no one knows what antis he deployed for his political gains. They said it does not matter who currently occupies Douglas House as governor. That governance is a continuum. That they have had several governors in Imbo State since the country's return to democracy in the year 1999. And no governor has such record like he did. That if they may ask, must everyone in Imbo State belong to one political party or support him either as candidate or governor? That it really does not matter how they seize it. But what is important is that the world knows what is going on in Imbo State. Mazinam Dekalo has remained in detention at the Abuja headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, since June 2021, following his extraordinary redemption from Kenya. The IPOB leader's family had earlier on last year accused Igbo political elite of abandoning Mazinam Dekalo in detention and threatened to expose those behind his continued detention. They know most of them. So most of all these Igbos, they are wicked to themselves. Most of all, this politician knows the reason why Mazinam Dukalo has not been released. Now they are seeking for all governors in the southeast part should seek for readjustment. They should meet President Bola Metunubu and ask him the reason why he don't want Mazinam Dukalo to be released. Or maybe their hand is in that. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified when we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. To all our viewers out there, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your winners. Stay safe, guys. Bye.